and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate and today I am talking about the top 10 scary images seen in smoke. Which honestly, I'm surprised we have never done before. This seems like classic most amazing content. But never fear, it is here. I think you're going to enjoy it. Before things get smoky up in here, why don't you guys let me know your scariest campfire stories? Also, can we just take a moment of appreciation before things get too scary just to praise s'mores? S'mores, everyone. Like, honestly, the best invention. If you haven't eaten a s'more, do it. Do it now. If you like our content, please do like this video and share it with a friend. Check out the links in our description box to our most amazing Instagrams and stick around to the end of the video where I'm going to be reading comments from a previous most amazing episode. All right, smoke, what you got? Coming in at number 10, we have the angel of the wildfire. In August 2016, an image of a spooky, spooky something going on in the smoke was uploaded to the internet. The image, dubbed Fireman's Guardian, went viral and was taken by a woman named Jeanette MP who was watching helplessly as wildfire ravaged her land in Henry's Creek in Idaho. Jeanette posted the image to Facebook with the caption, check out this photo. If you look closely, you can see the fireman's guardian. To me it looks like a spooky ghostly figure floating above the tree, I love it. In the photo we can see a fireman in yellow, he's in the foreground and then if we look into the background we can actually see a humanoid looking on in. Jeanette is convinced that the figure is a guardian angel who is protecting the firefighters sent out to stop the blaze. I like that idea, not so scary but also kind of a bit spooky. Coming in at number 9, excuse my pronunciation, we have the Kuntilanak. In Indonesian culture, a Kuntilanak is said to be the vengeful spirit of a woman who died when pregnant, which is really sad. In folklore, the ghost appears in bird form and sucks the blood of virgins and young fertile women. Like, I'm sorry for you babe, but back off. Back in January 2017, Mohammed Ajant captured an image of the so-called spirit in Coconut Jakarta. Sounds like a nice place to be, except all of the spooky spirits. Some think that the smoky apparition is nothing more than a puff from a vape, others say it's a drone, while one commenter on a news article said that it was a clear sign of black magic. Coming into number 8, we have Pele in the lava. In Hawaii, it is believed that there is a goddess of fire, lightning, and volcanoes by the name of Pele. It seems that all fiery disasters in Hawaii are blamed on Pele and explained as a reaction to her having a feud with a lover. She's a fiery babe, you can't stop her. According to legend, you must never remove any rocks from Hawaii for fear of invoking Pella's wrath. Similarly, it is considered highly disrespectful to prod lava as it flows or throw anything at it or in it. The legend of Pella is so strong that Hawaiians constantly see images of the goddess of fire and I have to say, I definitely see it in this picture taken by Matt Forney. He was on a trek to the Kamukuna volcano. Can you see an image of a woman in the magma because I absolutely can. Now it isn't the first time that she's been spotted either, a video uploaded in 2010 of Kalua volcano also seems to show the goddess. I'm sorry if you're watching from Hawaii and I'm butchering the names of your volcanoes, I'm sorry. Beyond that, Jim Carrey, not THE Jim Carrey, a guy with the same name which actually would kind of suck. Anyway, he has his own claim to fame as he saw a sad baby face in the smoke of another Hawaiian volcano. What's going on? More volcanic action at number 7, we have a demon in the smoke. Demon! Demon! Uploaded to YouTube in 2013, a video called Exclusive Face Seen in New Japan Island Volcano was uploaded to the internet. It basically does what it says on the tin. Footage from the volcano clearly shows a scary demonic face and it's actually pretty stressful to look at. Have a look for yourself. A reflection or whatever it is, it's there's something there folks. It looks like a face. See the eye here, the eye here, the nose. Face! Definite smoke face. The comments on the video are pretty great too. Five monkeys in a cage said, is it time? The demons are being released among us. Scary, scary times ahead. God bless. Magen from NO said, yup, totally see it. Them, they're not happy. My trusty gut tells me that the god of this world and his minions are manifesting in all manner of ways previously unseen. In their death throes, they're coming undone. They then say, Terrific catch, yo, peace. Lol. Also, it actually may not be any laughing matter because it seems it could be an anenera. Anenra! Fun to say when you can eventually say it. Anenra. An anenra is a Japanese smoke demon. Now, formerly, these were supposed to be humans, but they were bad humans and they were condemned to burn in hell. Coming in at number six, we have Blood Red Sun. Now, there is nothing supernatural about this per se, but this image is haunting nonetheless. He 
here a photographer has snapped an incredible picture of the sun peeping behind billowing smoke from a heating plant in Taiyan in Shanxi in China. The way the chimney spire is kind of gives the sun a kind of dragon's eye vibe or like an eye of Sauron vibe. Can you endure its terrible gaze? Ah. Coming into number 5, we have the legendary Gord. In 2017, Gord Downey of Canadian band The Tragically Hip passed away in Toronto. Now, sadly, the frontman had an incurable brain cancer and had a seizure. He was only 53. The rocker was known to love performing at festivals, and it seems like fans spotted his image in flames at Nevada's Burning Man Festival in 2018. Paula Kim Daring posted the image and said, I can't believe this image from the man's burn last night. Just look at the spirits and the flames. Flames. Fans claim to have spotted Gord's iconic hat. Rest in peace, sir. Coming in at number four, we have another festival, and this time there's a skull in the smoke. I absolutely love festival vibes. Back when I was younger and living in England, I used to go to Reading Festival every year. We always used to have a fire, and my friends nicknamed me Fire Marshal Peck as I was always in control of the flames. It's a long story. I've got a lot of stories from those days. If you buy me a drink sometime, maybe I'll tell you a few. Or maybe not. They're kind of incriminating. Anyway, back to the spooky smoke. This image was taken at a dance rave at a festival just outside Houston in Texas, a place I've always wanted to go. But is there some bad juju here? There is a fire in this picture as we can see and some people enjoying the outdoor party, but they aren't alone. It seems that a spooky skull was spotted in the smog, like undeniable skull face skelly demon. Skelly demon? I think that's the thing. I would say kill it with fire, but like... Christ! Christ has joined the party at number three, or is it Noel Edmonds? What a sentence. In September 2015, an old coal power station was demolished in East Lothian in Scotland. Scotland. Scotland! I really miss Scotland. Hello Scottish viewers, how are you doing? So when the building was demolished, something weird happened. Grand Redpath captured this image of the smoke billowing from Cockenzie Power Station and posted it to Facebook. Now hundreds of commenters claimed that they saw a face in the smoke. And looking at the image, it's actually easy to see why. A lot of people think it's the pouting face of Jesus Christ, or maybe Jonathan Van Ness. Others say it looked more like Deal or No Deal star Noel Edmonds. Some people say they saw Ringo Starr, and some even think they saw the late Cuban revolutionary Che Guevara. Blimey. A second helping of Jesus, this time in the horrifying flames of the Notre Dame in at number two. Following the heartbreaking fire of Paris's iconic Notre Dame in April 2019, people began spotting Jesus' presence amid the tragedy at the historic cathedral. Appearing to stand tall on the fiery roof is the chilling silhouette of Jesus Christ. Among the first to spot the apparition was Leslie Rowe who told the Daily Record that she had seen Jesus and was quote unquote astounded. She said, I feel like it will bring comfort to the people in Paris and all over the world at this sad time. Honestly, Jesus or not, sadly the spire of the 853 year old building was destroyed in the blaze and as of yet, don't know what started it. Thankfully plans for reconstruction are on the way. Finally coming into number one, we have the most horrific and widely shared scary images seen in smoke coming from September the 11th, 2001. 9-11 is a day that will be remembered forever. Now the horrifying events that unfolded that day very much did so in live action in front of the world. Hundreds of cameras were pointed at the World Trade Center after the first plane, American Airlines Flight 11, hit the North Tower at 8.46 a.m. At 8.48 Eastern Standard Time, the news was reported and from then on out the whole world was watching, which meant cameras were rolling and millions were tuned in as Flight 175 crashed into the South Tower 17 minutes later. The images from that day will still stay with a lot of people for the rest of their lives. Now Mark D. Phillips took this image from his Brooklyn rooftop and clearly, clearly there is a face in the smoke. Now the image went viral and Mr. Phillips's name was dragged through the dirt somewhat as people called it a poor taste hoax. However, it was later agreed that actually the images were real. It wasn't the only time that day an evil face was seen either. Check out the rest of the images from that fateful morning. Now I don't know what I believe in, but I do believe I see faces in in these pictures and I really don't like them. So guys, we've seen a lot of scary images in smoke in this list, and some of these, I don't know, I feel like they were undeniably there. Now, do you think there's something supernatural going on, or do you think it's pareidolia, the phenomenon of seeing faces where there are none? It's like a psychological thing. What do you think? Also, 
bringing it back around to some fun storytelling, why don't you let me know your scary campfire stories if you have any. And once again, let's just end this video with the sweet sweet appreciation of s'mores and my sweet sweet appreciation of you. I'm going to read some of your comments from one of my most recent videos, it was a top 10 scary things found in backyards. Ebony H said, thanks for another amazing creepy video, the only creepy thing we ever found in our garden was a dead fox under our shed, it stank and the other side of our garden fence is a graveyard. Ooh, blimey, I'm glad it was just a dead fox, but still nasty smell and dead people. Not a great time, not a party. Alexander McCoy said, yes, finally I got the notification. Woo, yes, Alexander, you are one of the notification club. Good on you. Gold star from me. And a small, mmm. Tracy Cladger said, love you, Slytherin Queen Rebecca Felgate the first. Why, thank you. Sijin said, your tolerance for spice is absolutely legendary. Yes. I don't know if you guys have watched that video yet, but we've got a new channel called Tier List, and I don't want to ruin it for you, but I can handle spice like an absolute mother. Good. Great. Although I'd rather be eating a s'more, not a spicy s'more, a regular s'more. Okay, s'mores. I'm dreaming of s'mores. It's time for me to leave. Thank you for watching this video. Once again, please do leave a thumbs up, share it with a friend. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate, and I'll see you soon.